Good morning. First real vlog. Woo! Mm. I'm so extra exhausted today. I fell asleep pretty quickly, but for some reason, I don't know. Did not get that good. It's Tuesday, um, so I gotta get up and get ready to go to life coaching. Mm. Oh, okay. Time to be a person. I'm up! I'm up! Ugh, fuck my life. Just realized you guys have not seen my room yet. It looks ridiculous. I have all of these bags of like donation clothing over here that I'm gonna sell some of it to thread up and some of it's gonna get donated, but it's just like chaotic right now. Mm. Oh my God. I love vlogging. You get to see how beautiful I am in the mornings because I'm just stunning at all hours. So normally I am a morning shower person. We're gonna hold off on that right now because I have an event to go to after coaching. So I am just gonna come home from coaching, shower, get ready for the day then. I'm putting my contacts in because I'm too afraid to get laser eye treatment, whatever the fuck they call it, LASIK. So obviously because of the Accutane, I've been having to keep my skincare real simple. And honestly, I'm experimenting like all the time with what I use, but I've pretty much figured out what works for me. I use this La Roche-Posay Hydrating Gentle Cre Cleanser. And then this is the Venacream Daily Facial Moisturizer. And then for any dry spots and for under my eyes, I am also using the Sally Ander nourishing under eye treatment but yeah that is about it nothing crazy so let's wash this face so i bought these like skin towelettes they're those like disposable ones that are all over tiktok and i was like you know what i'm gonna buy them and let me tell you guys not worth it. At least I don't think it's worth it. Like just use your fucking towel. I promise you don't need to buy disposable towelettes to dry your face. But I am just using them up basically because I have them. So that is my vibe. Brushing the brows. Brushing my eyebrows with the Accutane hurts. I guess it's cause like this is like going over the skin underneath my eyebrow hairs and like scraping at it, but it hurts. I, I don't really care because need to brush the eyebrows into place. Okay, lip balm and let's get dressed. This is the only stuff that I swear by. This and cord balm now. I've discovered it's like the only thing that works for the Accutane lips. This bag balm, it is amazing. I never really make it Ugh, a priority to look good for life coaching. When I'm taking clients, I look decent. When I'm seeing my life coach, however, all of that goes out the window. I just usually go see my life coach pretty early on Tuesdays. I mean, for me, this is early. I know obviously I sound like probably so fucking spoiled. I'm like, oh my God, I gotta go see her so early. It's at 10 a.m. It's not that early. However, now that I live in Brooklyn, getting to the Upper East Side where I go to see her is a pain in the ass. I usually do leave like an hour in advance. So I usually leave around nine and then I wake up between eight and 8.30. And for me, that is early. I usually wake up at nine. Nine is like my nice sweet spot, but I have to leave at nine. So that wouldn't work. Anyways though, uh, yeah, I never look good when I go to coaching because I just like to throw something on and go because I have a long journey that awaits me. An hour long commute to coaching. Usually I never actually feel tired when I get to coaching. Like I could wake up and moan and groan and then I get there and I sit down with my coach and we start talking about things and then I'm fine. Anyways though, I have jeans on. These are from Abercrombie. This pink sweater uh, was a gift from Spotify actually. And then I got my little happy man socks on. Could you guys see it? Oh, it's down there. Happy. And now I'm going to put Ugg boots on. My fucking wallpaper on my frame TV. It's like pretty, you know, it's the Northern Lights, but it looks so man. And so take a guess, did I put that there? Of course not, big jeans did. And you know what, speaking of big jeans, I'm putting the Uggs on. Speaking of big jeans, he watched my like come back to YouTube video yesterday and he FaceTimes me and he's like, you didn't mention Dakota when you were talking about your friends. 
things. How could you not mention Dakota? He was like jokingly arguing with me on it. Like, how could you not mention Dakota? That's like one of your best friends now. And I was like, Big jeans. Did you just pause the video to call me and tell me that? He goes, yes. I go, I want you to hang up. I want you to play the video for 10 seconds more. Not even, not even, five seconds. And then give me a call back. So he does that, he calls me back, he goes, Oh, men and their fucking audacity. Okay, we gotta do something about this hair because we gotta leave. My hair is not herring because I didn't have time to like properly fix it up. Maybe a hat, hat on. This is the vibe, let's go. I look a mess. It's rainy. I am home from coaching. My couch is like all over the place. I had to move it out of the way because my maintenance guy should be here like any minute. My AC is fucked. Well, the filter just needs to be replaced. But I just like went behind the couch and like cleaned around the AC unit, but the actual filter inside is so bad. So the maintenance guy is gonna come. And if fix that, replace it, whatever. And now my nose is running from like all the dust from cleaning it and it's just like, mm -mm. So yeah, couch is all screwed up, uh, but I have to edit the podcast today. That is what is on the agenda for today. And then I am going to an event tonight with Paige. It's for Skin Fix, which is a skincare brand. And they're hosting an event at Happy Medium, which is an art cafe in like Chinatown, Lower East Side. It's super cute. And I think we're gonna mess around with some air dry clay and make some stuff. So it should be really fun, but that is at six o'clock. It's only like one o'clock right now. So I'm gonna start working on the podcast. Oh my god, my nose is being so annoying. Like, Eating um, sushi. Oh my god, you're right. You're moving content. Editing. Off. Yeah. My it's, makeup. it's makeup time. So I just showered and I put my hair back into these clips to let my hair dry. I only have 40 minutes to get ready now. I'm like really behind and I know 40 minutes seems like a good amount of time to get ready but unfortunately i am just a girl and i take a while to get ready like i need at least like two hours because i really hate rushing like when doing my makeup or my hair or getting dressed and i just like panic and then also because of the accutane my skin is like really annoying to work with makeup wise i found like ways to make my makeup work obviously and i actually found that like the longer my makeup like sits on my skin the better it looks i feel like that's for like most makeup things but like very particularly with the Accutane skin. Cause it kind of just like ends up melting into my skin over the course of like an hour or so. And then it just looks like way better. But like initially getting my makeup done is kind of a bitch. Cause the skin's just so dry and flaky and it never looks good at first. And then I start like freaking out. When I first started Accutane, when I was like going through the purge badly, like I'm still purging, I'm still getting some pimples, but it's nothing compared to like what I was going through a month or two ago. But when that was happening, I was just like so insecure in my skin and because I was just so like deeply insecure I was like, oh my god I need to cover every little bit of acne up and so I was going ham like a full beat on a day-to-day -day. Like I was doing that NARS pot concealer, which is like really good I was doing like a shit ton of that and then followed by like a heavy-duty foundation powder foundation Like I was just doing the fullest beat ever Sorry if you guys just heard that. It's my phone. Lily texting me. Basically, I was just doing like so much foundation and facial products and just like everything full, full coverage in order to cover up the acne. I am a high maintenance lazy girl, meaning that I always want to look my best and like do my best, but like at the easiest way I possibly can. So like sitting in my bathroom doing my makeup for like an hour and a half because I'm doing this like insane full beat was absolutely not cutting it anymore. And I didn't really care about like covering the acne fully anymore. I just like wanted my skin to have like a little bit of like balance to it. So I was like, fuck this. I'm going to make a makeup routine for myself that doesn't cover all the acne and just kind of evens out my skin tone and takes like 20 minutes or less. And that is what I've been doing 
doing. So as you guys can see, what I have on right now is like, you know, it's not fully covering the acne. It does just like even out my skin tone a little bit and that's exactly what I want. I also really wanted to focus on makeup that was also like good for my skin. So like makeup that doubles as skincare basically. So right now I am using a tinted sunscreen. It's not even a foundation. It's not a tinted moisturizer. It is just a tinted sunscreen, which is really good too because it gets my SPF in there, which is like absolutely crucial on Accutane. This is the Tower 28 Sunny Days Tinted Sunscreen. It just has such a nice finish. And as you wear it throughout the day, it just keeps looking like better and better. Then I use the Drunk Elephant Bronzy Drops. I actually only started using them like two weeks ago and I'm really liking them. Except I don't put them on under my makeup. I just take it with like this little foundation brush and I just, you know, put it in the areas that I want it to go, like where I want to contour my face. Do, 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 I got these gigantic beauty blenders from my mom. She got them for me for Christmas. They're obviously not like beauty blender brand, but arguably they're like really good. I am now using more Drunk Elephant. I'm using the rosy, the like blush drops. I'm sure you guys have seen all the talk on TikTok about the 10 year olds. <laughs> what what a category, what a thing to talk about. But I'm just saying, I'm sure you guys have seen it. And I went into Sephora the other day to get the tinted moisturizer that I used today. And I was like, you know what? I kind of want to try those Drunk Elephant bronzy drops. So I was like, I'm going to go over to the Drunk Elephant section and I'm going to get these fucking bronzy drops. And so I go over to the Drunk Elephant section and luckily I run into no 10 year olds. But when I tell you guys, I felt embarrassed to be in the section of Drunk Elephant. Listen, Drunk Elephant is a really great brand and like if they wanna send me PR, hey. I was just like, I really hope that me, as a 24 year old woman, doesn't get mistaken for a 10 year old. That was like all I could think about the entire time I'm shopping in the Drunk Elephant section, is getting mistaken for a 10 year old. And I think I've passed the point now of looking underage. You know, when I was like 21, 22, I would have people be like, oh my God, you look 16. But uh, I think I'm kind of past that point now. I think the light has left my eyes enough for people to realize that I'm not a child. Like, I don't get ID'd anymore, and I don't know whether to be happy or concerned. But regardless, I was in there, and I was like, I really hope I don't get mistaken as a child. Anywho, we're using the Laura Mercier powder now. Listen guys, I like my classics. Lily always makes fun of me for it, but she's like, oh my God, like why are we still using the Laura Mercier powder in 2023? Or sorry, in 2024. I guess in 2023 too, that counts. But I'm like, girl, I don't give a fuck. I can't help but like a little Laura Mercier translucent powder under my eyes. I crease really badly under my eyes, so that is why I'm just going in like really gently with this little puff. Like I barely have any of this fucking powder left it's like empty but yeah i just go like really gently under my eyes and then like a quick uh, uh oh my god a quick little swipe on my eyes oh a little under my nose i get some creasing in my nose oh my god it is 5 25 i have to leave in five minutes no i don't i have to leave in 15 minutes i have an extra 10 minutes okay good we're almost done anyway but the rest of my face my skin is so dry and sucks the life out of my fucking skin that i don't even have to do powder uh i'm just gonna go get my setting spray and my mascara and stuff. This is the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Oh my God, too much in my eyes. This is my packet of empty Accutane capsules. We're gonna like use this to just kind of, you know. Anyways, another classic Anastasia uh, brow gel. And then this page put me on. It's the YSL brown mascara. It is so good. And then that's like it. I don't really do anything for my lips. Maybe like a little bit of lip liner. But I mostly just apply lip balm because my lips are so crusty and dry 24-7 from the Accutane that like I can't really stand to have anything else on my lips. Also, I use a little bit of like micellar water or micellar water. I don't know what the fuck you call it. And I use this just to like wipe any tinted sunscreen off of my eyebrows. It's like sometimes it gets on my eyebrows and it makes my eyebrows look like gray. I used to have like pencil thin eyebrows when I was like 16, 17 years old. And like from that point on, I was like, I'm going to grow the fuck out of my eyebrows. And now all I do is I pluck the middle of my eyebrows and then I'll just like trim them a little bit with like a little eyebrow scissor just so they don't get like crazy. And that is all I do. Okay, eyebrows 
done. And now we have just mascara. I just like one little like coat of mascara just to kind of make my lashes pop a little bit. Bottom lashes. As you guys could probably see, my lips are so dry, flaky, dry, disgusting. Thanks, Accutane. Like I said, I don't really put anything on my lips except for lip balm now. And I told you guys about this stuff earlier, the bag balm. I swear by this. We need to get dressed and I gotta switch out my camera battery. I gotta switch out my bag. Oh my God, nine minutes, let's go. Okay, this is what I'm wearing. Oh my God, I didn't put jewelry on, I gotta do that. Anyways though, uh, I decided to go really casual because it is just like an art studio. And I have to come home and edit the podcast after. So this is what we're working with. This sweater is from Princess Polly. This is like one of my favorite basic sweaters. It goes with everything. These pants are also Princess Polly, LOL. The shoes are New Balance 550s. I got them from Goat, I believe. And then I got to put my jewelry on. And I'm also bringing my bag. Where'd it go? Oh, my bag's over there. This is the bag that I am bringing just because it goes with my whole outfit. It's my little vintage coach bag. And I got to go put jewelry on. Jacket on, jewelry on, bag on. We're going to go. There she is. Hello. Hi, Mia. Do you want to sit there? Or there? Here's cute. Anyway, is this your little plate? Yeah, I got food. <laughs> I told you guys earlier, but we're at this Skin Fix event. So basically, you get to choose like which uh, little thing you want to do off off the art menu. I can't speak. So we're doing clay, the air dry clay. There's Paige's food. I need to go get food. I'm assuming all the way in the back. Me and Paige actually came here a few weeks ago to make collages for like the new year. And then we got invited to this event like two weeks later and we're like, oh my God, this is the place that we were just at. So happy to be here. All this food. Yeah. So I don't really know what to make with the clay, but I did some looking on Pinterest and I want to make this duck. If you guys could see it, this duck. I am the trinket girl and I feel like making a duck. Mm -hmm. Now you guys could see my damn duck. He's perfect. Okay, guys. Oh my God. So I just got home from that event that I was just at that you guys saw. I am just laughing because of how in awe I am. So there's this influencer who I have met at like a bunch of events over the past like two years, I would say. Anything from like us like having like a very short conversation to like a long sit down conversation. But we followed each other on Instagram literally like since we met and we've been following each other. So about two months ago though, me and Paige go to this like event. It was like for a restaurant or whatever. And we go and this influencer comes up to the table that me and Paige are sitting at to say hi to us. Or so I thought. So she's at the table and she says, hey to Paige, like, how are you, blah, 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 whatever. She's like talking to her. And then she turns to me and she goes, hey, nice to meet you. I'm so-and-so, the, the name. And I was just like, like, I was just so shocked in the moment. And I was just like, oh, like, nice to meet you. I'm Christina. And then it was whatever. And then they walk away. And me and Paige look at each other like... And me and Paige are just like laughing and like, what the fuck? Cause I spoke to them at like so many other events and we follow each other on Instagram. So I was like, what? But whatever, we laughed about it so hard and we were like, that is like so stupid, but like whatever, let it go. Tonight we go to this event, run into the influencer again. And she again comes up to me and Paige's table, says hi to Paige and again introduces herself to me. Hi, I'm so-and-so, nice to meet you. I literally froze for like three seconds and then I was just like, uh, yeah, nice to see you. And then she walks away from the table and me and Paige start like bursting out laughing again because we were like, there's no way. Like I'm a forgetful person, but there's just no way. And also I know everybody that I follow on Instagram and we've been following each other and have gone to so many events with each other. Like there's just, no way! And also, every time we see each other, it's at an event where me and Paige are together. Like, me and Paige go as a duo to these things. So, like, you would think that, like... I just... I don't even know. 
And then I went and I unfollowed her once I got in my Uber. Um, and yeah. Obviously, this person's like not purposely like saying that they don't know me, but it's just like, like it's just like a little like rude. Whatever, I'm laughing about it. I personally find it hilarious. Anyways, I think I'm gonna end this vlog on that note because I just like talked about so many random things today. I feel like this could just be like a vlog in itself. So I think I'm gonna just like leave it at that. I will see you guys in my next video. Of course, make sure to go and follow me at Beauty Chicky on all my social media platforms. You stream my podcast, the Jenna Toxic Podcast. Link is below. I'll see you guys in the next video. So with that being said, ciao, ciao, chickies. Mwah.